So far, food has been a little bit of a problem because quite often we'll be in the middle of filming something and we will become victims of the Italian lunch ambush. For example, you're looking at an abandoned town, a castle. A local dignitary will turn up to welcome us, all very nice, and then he will say, and now the lunch, and the lunch can go on for three hours. So the way to get around this is to make our own lunch, and you do that with one of those. Right, what do I do? Ask the goat expert. Unfortunately, I don't know which of these goats is the expert. Ow, stop it. Le capra so... Ah! Sono le bastarde, in truth. Stop it. Ow! I give up trying to ask the goat for instructions and try a human instead, Antonella. Vedi che lei si allarga. She opens it, she spreads out her legs. Okay, guarda, è pronta. And now she's ready. Antonella is an artisan cheesemaker. She's going to show me how to squeeze milk from Bettina here so I can make everyone lunch. Give, him, give her your hand. Yes, milk is coming out, I think. Oh, there you go, I'm doing it. Oh, look at that one. Wow. Bene. Benissimo. Benissimo. Goats are quite friendly animals. You can almost have them as pets. They're quite inquisitive. Um, they're cute, they make a nice noise. They tend to... Oh, I can feel the relief in the goat when I do that. And she's very warm, which is quite nice. <laughs> I don't know who's happier amongst the two of them. <laughs> it feels quite intimate. There's a bond of trust between me and this goat. I'm squeezing her udder, which is, you know, I wouldn't let somebody... I know they're not related, but I wouldn't let somebody squeeze my... <laughs> my chivalrous approach has been rewarded. Is it enough to make a small cheese? Ce la facciamo, qualcosa, qualcosa uscirà. OK, something will manage to make it. Grazie, Bettina, for your bounty. Hello. Oh, yeah. Grazie mille. Oh, I'd love to have a goat. Turning goat's milk into cheese is a quick and easy process. No, it's all about adjusting it when you put it directly there. Or if not, let's do it with that. No, do it with this. Then when you put it there, you put it in the other side. If you add this half liter, we have the solution. Anywhere except Italy, that is. Come per per voi, eh? Cioè non è per per farla vedere una cosa che viene un po'. Poi aspetta lì. No, no, vai, 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 vai. No, no, vai, 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 tranquillo. Vai, 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 vai. Once we finally begin, it all happens very quickly. First, the milk is filtered, and then the fly remains in the strainer, along with a few bits of grass and a bit, few bits of goat. Next, it's gently stirred and heated. Forty degrees is the temperature you need. Thirty-eight, forty. Okay, perfect. Perfect. That's it. Now for delicious sounding rennet from Animal Guts. Oh, that's loads. And then you finish it off by hand. As if I was once again fondling Bettina. Oh, it's doing it. Look, come and see. Sean, look, look, it's gone. Don't start anymore now. Can you see it's going thick? Finally, the curd's ready to be squeezed out. This is, this is a calm, a calm process. It's, it's serene almost, and it's at odds with the atmosphere in this room, which is slightly frantic. And as if by magico, for Maggio. Look at the pattern. That characteristic shape you get on a little circular goat's cheese is made by the slots in the Potto de Slotto. This is fantastically exciting. Everybody ready for some cheese?